half kneeling overhead pull off press. Okay, so for this one, you wanna have, band's gonna be roughly about chest height <clears throat> in a half kneeling position. Um, if you've got a cable column at your gym, you can use a D-handle attachment that'll work perfectly fine and perhaps even a little bit better. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, regardless if you've got a band or a D-handle attachment, you wanna start with your attachment, the band or the D-handle, right in front of the side of the chest that is facing the attachment site. So the attachment site I have here is the squat rack. My left side's facing the squat rack. I wanna have the band right in front of the left side of my chest. So what's gonna happen is, is when I go up with this band, it's gonna to wanna to pull me that way. So as I fight that, I need to stay vertical and my abs are gonna to contribute to that of keeping me upright and vertical as the band tries to pull me that way towards the squat rack. So I'm set up here. I'm gonna inhale through my nose. And I'm gonna exhale. I go up. And honestly, that's a little bit light with the, with the resistance. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move out just a little bit. So there's a little bit more tension on the band, which means it's gonna pull me a little bit more. So I'm gonna redo that, that rep again. Now I can start to feel a little bit. Notice that I keep the straight line with in line with my left side of my chest. Um, if I'm pulling over too much, I'll have a tendency, you can see I kind of want to rotate my body or side bend my body to the right. And then also what will happen is the knee's going to start to drift out as well, which we want to make sure that we're stabilizing by pressing down into the ground and the knee stays right over the foot of the leg that's away from the squat rack or whatever your attachment side is. So again, front of the left side of the chest, or same side of the chest as the attachment site. From there, inhale with the mouth closed. Exhale. 